Wah! Alright, what's up guys? I do not have a lot of time tonight. I am on a serious crunch right about now. I'm trying to get stuff done. But I promised you a Gotham review and by George, you gonna get that Gotham review. Alright, be great, be great. I love you guys. Like, you know, I'm, I'm about to get busy. Okay? okay? After I had to catch up from like episode 9, I um, was pleasantly surprised to see how the dynamic of Gotham has changed a little bit. And it's um, the story seems to be more directed towards Fish Mooney at this point. Um, she has ended up with a blue eye now, which was, she kind of looks like a husky, but it was, like, cool. And in a mix of all of this going on, Alfred gets stabbed by a close relative. No, no, wait. I'm sorry, it wasn't a relative. It was, like, a, um, a, um, military buddy. Get stabbed. There was a tender little moment between, you know, Selena and Bruce, and they hugged and me. <laughs> I love them. I think they're so adorable. I love, I love the, the, the chemistry that the actual, that the little actor and actress actually have with each other. I feel like that's how Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle would have interacted as children. I think it works really well for the show. It gives a lighter tone to everything that's so dark and grimy about Gotham City. Anywho, to set things straight in Gotham City, um, <laughs> Gordon kind of goes out of his way to stick his nose where it does not belong. And when I say stick it where it does not belong, that is up Loeb's ass, Commissioner Loeb's ass. In the process of all this, he asks for Penguin's help to actually find out what Loeb has as like a secret or as, um, Harvey, not Harvey Dent, as a, <laughs> what is his name? Bullock, oh, oh, Bullock, Harvey Bullock would say, everyone has a cobble pot, right? Well, since everyone has a cobble pot, James Gordon thinks, well, Commissioner Lowe must have a cobble pot, right? Right, makes perfect sense. Anywho, they go through all this work and end up at a house with a couple, like, a couple that's, like, old in their 80s or some shit, and turns out that they're, like, total badasses and are going <laughs> all up in their face, they get busting in the head, and Gordon and Bullet go upstairs to find, honestly, Lowe's cobble pot, which is actually, like, his daughter, because his daughter killed his wife with a candlestick. It's very twisted. It's very twisted. Anywho. You know, um, basically, everything turned out pretty good for everyone. Um, Gordon was able to kind of clear Bullock's record so he's no longer controlled by the man. <laughs> and, um, everybody kind of walked away happy. It is definitely one of the better episodes of Gotham, I would say. Um, next to the episode where, like, Joker kind of showed up. I enjoyed that one, but I didn't get a chance to review it. But it's definitely worth your time. I recommend going to watch it, like, ASAP. I actually really enjoyed it. It was nice to walk away from the franchise and then come back into it and see a different light and see that not everybody, not, you know, that he, Gordon's not always going to win. But when he does, he makes sure it counts. So, that's all I gotta say about the episode. I hope you enjoyed this review. Click a like. Give me a like, please. Share, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you next time. Alright? Peace, love, and all that good shit. The wolf is out. For watching Geek Geek TV, yeah. There's no one else like me, yeah. Come back every six day of the week to get your dose of nerdy. Hope you like, can subscribe to the YouTube just to find the nerdy you.